I think, you know, I, I actually was involved in um, acting when I was a kid. Uh, I did some, you know, growing up throughout school, and even in high school I did a few musicals. Uh, so for me, you know, even when I was, even before high school, I, I, I remember wanting to be an actor and saying, you know, why would I want to choose a job or a career when I could be an actor and have the opportunity to be anything? I mean, that was, you know, from a 11-year-old right. perspective, I was like, actor, acting is awesome! <laughs> um, you know, when, when I went to college, uh, I, I, I think I just didn't really, I didn't have the encouragement I needed to pursue it as a, as a career, as, a, as like my, the main thing that I'm doing. I, so I had the, the creative inclinations, um, but I fought them. I mean, I fought them hard. And I, I just, you know, the struggling artist versus like doing a career that's, you know, stable and job security. Um, we so all did that. And, 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 you know, it was, it was just more of like a, I guess like a, pressured career choice of, to, to go the corporate route. At the time, right before I, I was cast on Teen Wolf, I was coming down to, coming into LA and, um, you know, mostly just out and about. And I, I you know, I guess, I guess it's right place, right time, you know? Some, sometimes these things happen because they're just meant to happen. And I, I had the opportunity from Jeff Davis to put my you know, put my chops up on, on a tape, on audition tape, send it around, and the rest, I mean, three years later, here I am. And I'm so much happier where I am today, and the amount of creativity that I'm allowed, that I'm allowed every day to express because of the, the time that I can commit to it. Right. It's, it's extremely well written, I mean, and it's, it's very thoughtful. Um, you know, a lot of the jokes tie back to previous seasons and previous episodes. I mean, they're really good at, at threading things together, and it's it's a tongue-in-cheek thing. I feel like we also, yeah. you know, for the genre, we also don't take ourselves too seriously. Um, at least not in the sense where we can't joke about certain things that happen on the show. And the uh, the horror aspect is really being turned up this season. So. I, I don't know how to say this exactly, but they don't make a big deal about things it, it, with any of the characters. I don't know if that makes sense, but you know what I mean? It's, it's like... Well, it's, it's like it's pushing, you know, it's, it's like we, we can address issues without making them issues. Bang, exactly. Um, it's it's yeah. almost like a... It's a subtle way of doing it, I guess. And, and you know, sometimes I, I hesitate to bring up some of the things that we address because I, I like the way that they're delivered. Right. Um, and it's... And it's, it's very interesting, and, and they're they're very inter I mean, as you said, they're very entertaining, and I I enjoy watching the show. We we all as a cast watch it together. When there's a uh, a story to be presented, depending on what the issue is, um, making it as subtle as possible while bringing it to the forefront. Um, as far as the romantic interest <laughs> of the season, um, yes, there is some of that that goes on. <laughs> Uh, uh, to elaborate, uh, I don't know. The first two seasons, well, the first season, Scott was really figuring out who he, who he was, what to do with these powers, like how to deal with his friends, right. and sort of, you know, re reasserting himself with these, all the changes that he's going through. And uh, the second season was, you know, that, that whole invasion of... Um, or, or the, the whole thing that was happening with Jackson. Right. Um, and, and kind of like having somebody else who's wanting what Scott has but not getting the same thing and then the results of that and then the, all the conflicts um, and people wanting to, I guess, assert their alphas uh, or assert their uh, dominance over the, the situation. Um, and now the third season, I feel like Things have calmed down a little bit. Uh, the dust has settled. People are settling into their new surroundings and new relationships. And with the introduction of you know the alphas that come to town, uh, there's I feel like there's 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 
love in the air for a lot of people. <laughs> especially Danny. Me. Yeah, especially Danny. Well, and like, and like I, I feel like Danny got, he kind of struck out the first two seasons. Everybody, I guess, gets a turn, you know? It's, um, at least a turn to, to find their romantic interest. Okay, so let me ask you this, first of all. Yeah. Were you expecting that when before you saw what was being written? Uh... I knew that there was potential. There, it's pretty. It's indicated pretty early on in the right. season where, who Danny's interest is going to be. But now the second part of that, as far as how much they show in the romance department, was that expected, or did you think it was going to be hand holding? Because um, I think what's out there already is that there is there's going to be there's going to be plenty of skin because they've already been doing plenty of skin. Yeah, right? and that's that's the thing. I knew I knew that.